Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2017 video tutorial. I want to do the F1 rear wing exercise now in SOLIDWORKS. So, let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS. At first I want to create some planes. So go for reference geometry plane and I need one with a distance to this one. And this should be let's say six six zero confirm then another one with a distance to this one and this should be three seven five next one distance to this one maybe two hundred and some more one with a distance to this one with 100 distance next one should be 135 next one should be 135 as well next one please take notice always the last plane is right there already selected so that's one two three and i mean might need one more so go for another one reference should be this one again one three five so this would be the first fin, second fin, third fin, fourth fin, one, two, three, four. So that's wrong. This one should be deleted. It's first on 100, first fin, second fin, third fin, and I need one more right here with a distance to that one again 135 and confirm now i can start with my first sketch on that plane right here so i want to do a sketch here and i will go for a rectangle It starts right here, and this might be 650 by 650. And then I go for a spline, which starts right here. something like this okay and this should be So this one and that one should be tangent. Maybe, just maybe, edit this a little bit. Maybe like this and Here, for example, then I need a line which starts right there, goes up like this, and maybe another rectangle over here, and that distance might be 100. So let's go for a fillet. 
100 from this line to that line and confirm let's trim this should be removed that should be removed this okay looks good and this could be converted to for construction only In this program I could do all the curves in one sketch because you can select only one element of a sketch but I will do it with more sketches. So let's go for another sketch on the front plane. So I'm not quite sure if I selected the front plane so let's go for the front plane, make a sketch look normal to that plane and that would be just uh, an arc which starts maybe here that's the end point over there and it's maybe like this well this looks okay confirm and Let's go for another sketch now on the right plane. Look normal to the right plane. Let's take a look. Yes, and I need one line which is vertical aligned. and is collinear with that plane so okay and leave that sketch okay another sketch again on the right plane Maybe I could hide those other planes for the moment, uh, but not all, so yeah. So that's the plane I want to go for, sketch, view normal to it, and I need A line which should start in that plane and maybe goes like this and leave that sketch. Okay, I need two more so that would be a sketch on the top plane you normal to that plane yeah that's kind of irritating so i should look on that plane like this yeah i need a rectangle This could be for construction only and give it some dimensions. This would be 135. You could control it by the planes as well. But I want to do it like this and maybe that's 20. We can change it afterwards as well. Now move it a little bit over here so it's better visible I need a line which starts here goes up and then moves into an arc and into another arc 
So let's go for an arc. Zoom in. Maybe like this and yeah, like that and another one. And maybe like that. Okay. Give that line a dimension, maybe twenty-five. And then this should be aligned to that one. Tangent. And this should be aligned to this one. Tangent. And those two should be tangent as well. I think they're already tangent. No. Okay, now move this a little bit. So that line should be collinear with this one. Okay, and this one with that one. Okay, now I could adjust this a little bit. Yes. And then you almost the same sketch with a slightly different dimension again. So I will copy it, control C, and put it onto the same plane that would be the top plane, control V. Now let's edit this one, maybe hide for a moment this one. Let's take a look. This should be removed. And then I can move this to that plane. Okay, and I want to change that dimension to 100. So this didn't quite work. Yeah, there's a small error. Remove this one and now maybe like this and align this line with that plane collinear. That should do the trick. Let's show this one and edit it because I think I have a, a small line there as well. Yes, remove this one. Okay, I think I got all my sketches, or almost, because I will need with the second, with this one, with that sketch. I need an offset line as well. So let's make an offset line. Where is offset? There is no offset here, so the here it's offset. I want to offset that line in that direction, maybe 20. And confirm. Great. Now I've got all my sketches. And of course, I forgot some, so I will add some more sketches. I need those sketches to be on the front plane. So select the front plane, make a sketch, look normal to that front plane. Okay. I need two arcs and some rectangles and I could do those arcs in one sketch. So this might start here and go here. Okay. And another one. Which might start here, go over there, 
and look like this. Confirm, leave that sketch, and another sketch on the same plane that would be the front plane, the rectangle. Rectangle, rectangle, give it some dimensions. This distance might be 15, that distance might be 15, this distance might be no. Nope. Distance might sorry. Now that's okay. Let's go for fifteen. Fifteen and another fifteen. Let's move those down, maybe over here and make a little bit to the front and align them Just maybe maybe like that. Okay, and now I think I'm quite sure I did all the sketches I need. So I'm done with this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page and like it. would be very nice of you. I will do all the modeling in the next video. So, thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.